Hi guys, I want to be able to provide a little bit of help when it comes to separation anxiety. A lot of people um, are actually not aware that their dog has separation anxiety and I'm finding I'm being inundated with issues. Dogs coming for social days, dogs coming for trials for minding, um, consultations hands down. Majority of dogs have separation anxiety and what this is, it's a development from the wonderful world that we live in these days <laughs> where our dogs are sharing our intimate space which is inside with us as well as outside and not that there's anything wrong with that my dogs are like that too uh, but what we need to know is how to be with them uh, inside as well as outside to help make them confident well, how you can tell your dog has separation anxiety or a form of separation anxiety is try putting your dog outside and close the door and see what happens if your dog is comfortable with that no whining no barking no sort of sucking up against the back door totally fine also you can try putting them in a different room in the house close the door what you want to look for is you want to be able to do it where your dog can't see you so what's happening in a lot of apartments is the dog is always seeing us when we're in the apartment so they're constantly around us but the minute we're in the house or the apartment, we put them in a different room where they can't see us, the dog starts to stress. Now separation anxiety is a terrible form of mental stress for any dog. So we really wanna help them become confident and get out of it. I find it's happening with a lot of dogs that I call are a Velcro dog. So when, whenever we're home, they're with us constantly, like almost sucked to the side of our leg. So they, they also seem to have a lot of access to high places. So we're giving them privileges that they normally wouldn't get in their natural environment for free constantly. So they're getting on the lounge, they're getting on the bed. We're constantly giving them free affection. And how we're meeting and greeting our dogs is critical for separation anxiety. If we come home from work or being out and our dogs are bouncing around and excited to see us and we're going, oh my God, yes, I missed you too. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What we're doing is we're sending a very clear signal that we're stressed too and we don't ever want to leave them again. Like, I'm so sorry. This is how a dog sees it from their perspective. Oh my God, I know, please don't leave me again. Please don't leave me again. So this is what we have to be able to understand from a dog's perspective is different from a human's perspective. So what can we do to fix it? These are probably the top um, activities I give my clients to do to try and help resolve and rehabilitate separation anxiety. Meet and greet is critical. Ignore your dog when you come home. If you hear them bouncing on the other side of the door, just stand there and wait until they either stop verbalizing or you hear them calm down a little bit. When you open that door and you walk in, you go straight through your dog and put your bags down. Do not acknowledge that anxiety. Do not acknowledge that overexcitement because that will be a trigger for separation anxiety. <clears throat> this is one that everyone's gonna hate. Cut back on all the free affection that you're giving them. In their natural world, affection in regards to a physical touch is always earned. It's never given for no reason. So if we're constantly touching our dogs, oh my God, we're, we're elevating them like the king or queen, which in turn makes them feel like they need to run us and they need to run the house and they have this burden on their shoulders, which also can trigger separation anxiety. Place work is critical. What I mean by place work is when you tell a dog in your bed, okay, they have nice little soft beds around the house, they need to learn to be away from you, not glued to you. So practice place work. When you're sitting down having a meal, when you're sitting down watching TV, put them in their bed, so in your bed. Okay, the first time or two, you might be up and down, up and down, but I'm telling you, this will be absolutely critical to help them recover from separation anxiety. It's an awful state of mind. You really limit their life and you limit your life when your dog has separation anxiety. You become a prisoner of your own home almost and it's not a full life. You want to have a full life and plus you all love your dogs like I love mine and you want them to have a full life and feel confident and great all the time. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I just wanted to send this.